In this demonstration of Bomney's front office, I'm going to take you through uh, the integration adapters that we have for ServiceNow and uh, how these can be integrated into front office. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go into front office uh, and in through the service catalog, and we're going to go and pick the uh, raise an incident uh, at a ServiceNow request. So once we're in here, we can fill out details such as uh, description, uh, and we can also go down and select the uh, category uh, that, that we think the incident comes under as well. All this information will be passed over to ServiceNow as we'll see, see later. Um, so I'm just going to select the impact, uh, the uh, severity level, contact type, and uh, you can see there we could have uh, add attachments as well if, if we had one, and that would go and pass into ServiceNow. Okay, so we're just looking now at the request once we've submitted it, uh, and we can see that we can view this request, uh, and we can see a number of other requests. Some of them are in progress, so they're, they're tickets that are being worked on, and this one is just being prepared uh, to, uh, to, to to send over to service now. Okay, so we'll just do a refresh on that, and uh, again, you can see the, the completed item at the bottom. Okay, so what we've got also on here is uh, via our quick links is uh, the ability to view um, any uh, tickets uh, that, that, that we've raised in service now. Uh, at the moment, we're just seeing a ticket that has be already been completed. Um, but if we keep refreshing on this, what we'll see eventually, uh, once the ticket has gone over to service now, uh, it'll then come back and uh, we'll be able to view it within this uh, ticket viewer. So, uh, so there's the ticket, uh, and you can see we can see all the details of the ticket in our Quick Links viewer. So you can see there's no need uh, for an end user to go into the, the ServiceNow module. Uh, what we're doing now is we're adding a comment in. So for the, t the live ticket, we want to add some more information in there. So we can do that from the uh, Ticket Viewer widget. Uh, once we click OK, then you can see there that we've updated uh, the comments in the actual ticket. And uh, what we're going to do now is go over to ServiceNow and have a look and see how that ticket appears in ServiceNow. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click on to uh, this item so you can see there's the actual item uh, incident that's been raised. And if we look in there, we can see all of the uh, information that we selected in the request has been pulled in to the request details. Uh, and if we scroll down, we can also see uh, that the uh, um, additional information that we had added in has actually been updated on the ticket and uh, if we wanted to we can also uh, add some more information so the help desk can add more information uh, into the ticket here as well and uh, that will then also uh, go back to um, the uh, ticket viewer widget within front office so we're just going to update that request in service now and uh, that will that information will flow back into uh, front office. So if we go back into front office, and uh, I just need to do a uh, refresh on that. And uh, if we just click into that again, then you'll see that we've uh, updated uh, some more information in there that was updated from ServiceNow. So I'm just showing you that it can be updated two ways, and a conversation can be had. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to actually go in and uh, resolve it. So I'm just going to uh, click down and go to resolve incident. I need to uh, add some uh, closure code and also uh, some notes. And uh, those these notes will uh, also appear uh, back in uh, front office as well. Okay, so we've resolved that. So when we go back into uh, front office, uh, we can now see if we do a refresh on that, what we'll see now is that that disappears because we're only showing tickets that are open. If I select the show all tickets, uh, then you can see that we can actually see uh, all the old ticket information in there as well. Okay, so 
that completes the uh, demonstration of uh, integration into uh, ServiceNow. Uh, don't forget that it's not just for instance, but, but can be used as part of a new starter request uh, and also be used as part of uh, our fulfillment uh, to raise tickets on uh, remote systems. Uh, if you w want any more information on this, then please go to uh, www.biomni.com. Thank you.